Hey everybody, I am here with this week's vlog. So it is Monday. I did a lot of driving over the weekend. Holy cow. Uh, and I had to do a little bit more driving today, but I got up early and did it early so that by lunchtime when everybody was crazy and the stores were getting full because people are on their lunch breaks from work and whatever, that I was already headed home. Yay! <laughs> um, still kind of drove me crazy a little bit. My hair was just up in a ponytail. I didn't think that, that was a, probably a great look for YouTube, so I, <laughs> I took my rubber band thing out. I have a bunch of happy mail that's come in over the last couple of days. Some of it probably came in on, I know came in on Saturday, but I was out of town driving my husband around and doing family stuff all day Saturday, so I didn't get the mail. Um, we'll start with a little haul video. So the first thing is, one of the things that I did over the weekend with my husband is after um, we ran errands and we did some family stuff he and I decided to go have dinner in Santa Cruz now Santa Cruz is not that far from where I live it's about 45 minutes drive it's not that far um, from where we were at though it's like an hour plus and we hit some traffic but anyway it's a really great time we love going there and there's a used music store on uh, Pacific Avenue Streetlight Records and we always stop there first, and that's usually that's what we did this time too. We brought home a little stack of CDs, and we've already um, loaded them to iTunes too, because we both have iPods. Yes, I did mean iPod, not iPad, <laughs> iPod. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, so I finished loading it, and I just finished updating iTunes, so I actually have to plug this in and um, make sure it's charged and transfer all the new music over to it too. Um, so, and then after we were done in Santa Cruz doing that, we, I stopped at Palace Art and Office Supply, and um, I love that place. They have two of them. One is in Santa Cruz, and the other one's in Capitola. The Capitola store has PBO paint and a few other things. It's a little bit bigger, I think. Um, but I wasn't in Capitol, I was in Santa Cruz. So I went to the Santa Cruz store and I finally got myself some round jelly plates. I got two sizes. I got the 8 inch and the 6 inch. And I want to try my new flower stencil on the round jelly plate. So I think I have some ideas for that and I think it's going to turn out really cute. Um, I also got a few paint brushes and there is one kind that um, Claudia Rossi really likes, and so does PETA, and I got a few of them, and I love them, and now I'm addicted to collecting them. So, let me see. They are the Princeton Select brushes, and I got, I got this one in a couple sizes. It's a pointed filbert. A filbert brush is one of my favorite kind of brushes to paint with, um, especially with acrylics. Um, and a regular filbert looks like more like that. Um, this is a pointed filbert. So I wanted to try that. And then I also got this one, which is a lun called a Lunar Blender. It's kind of a filbert with short bristles. And then I got one really small, teeny tiny brush. Uh, let's see. That's in here somewhere. Here we go. Really teeny tiny. Um, and this is a round petite. Um, it's a five slash zero. Um, really great for doing like eyelashes and grass and that kind of thing. My only problem with these brushes now that I have a, a nice selection of them is do I use them on acrylic or do I save them for my watercolors? Because I really like the way the bristles feel and I bet they'd be great with watercolor and they're the kind of brush that according to the manufacturer you could use on either. I don't know now. <laughs> I have no idea. And I do like to keep my brushes separate so um, and what else? So today when I went out, I had to go 
you know, do non-fun errands, food shopping, I needed Q-tips at Target, stuff like that. Um, so while I was out shopping, I um, made sure to go to um, the dollar bins at Target. And when I was at the dollar bins at Target, they had these really cute uh, mason jar tags. And then they have these tags, and I've been do I'm going to be doing some more of the pocket letters. So I promised a few. In fact, I have to work on them this week. Um, so I got these for that. And then um, I also got some tissue paper. Where did I get the tissue paper at? Oh, I know. Um, by my Target, we have a new Party City. Um, and I went in there and I got these two kinds of tissue paper. Um, I don't really need the tissue paper, but um, I'll probably save a sheet for myself because, you know, um, this is actually for the pocket letters. And um, then I went to Tuesday morning, which was over by the grocery store that I wanted to go to, and I got a pad of paper, and this is by American Crafts. It says Shamil. And I really like it because it had this one in it. It has ones like that in it, like old-timey kitchen, and I want to do some more kitchen junk um, journals. Kind of a quick flip through of the paper. It's really cute. It was only, I don't know, oh, $2.99. And they also had, mine hasn't had this before, it had the Ranger Beeswax Little Beads. So like Aunt, my friend Ann Williamson, I wanted to try, um, was it France Papillon? 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 I don't know how to pronounce your name. I just butchered it, didn't I? Um, one of the mixed media YouTube artists just did an experiment page where she used some of this on there and she melted it onto the page and she did an experiment. It looked really cool. So, and I have a, I have a hot glue pot, so I'm thinking, and I don't, I'm pretty sure it has no glue in it, so... I'm thinking clean it out and put some of this in there because I never use it so you know all right what else I'm editing video like crazy yeah um, okay over the weekend oh and I got this in the mail today's mail this is a King Arthur flower catalog and I um, before I got hurt did a lot of baking I still do a lot of cooking um, when I'm going to be making breads and things, I like to get my ingredients from King Arthur. Um, if I can get them locally, I do. Some of my stores carry King Arthur. But one of the things that happened when I got sick was my sourdough starter died. And I want to order some more. But anyway, I'm on their mailing list, and I got this catalog today. And there's this image here on the back. And I'm thinking that would be good for collage for something. So I'm probably going to hang on to that. <laughs> um, I also got another piece of junk mail which is in the other room so I can't show it to you but it I don't even know what it's for some kind of career builder thing and all over it like in five different places is the same statement um, dealing with difficult people <laughs> I'm thinking I'm not sure if that applies to me or, <laughs> but I'm thinking it's stuck in my brain now, so I'm thinking I have to clip that out and save it and put it in my word box because, yeah, I'm not sure why I'm wanting to save it, but I'm going to do that. I don't know. I got this um, international airmail envelope. Now, first of all, the envelope is totally cool. It is from Louisa Viviers. Helensville, New Zealand. Very cool. She sent me a postcard and she wrapped it in a cool piece of painted paper. I love that. I love the painted paper. And the postcard is dated April 2015. Yeah, Vivere, Louisa Viviers, New Zealand. And it says left-handed artwork. So she's a righty and she did this left-handed. And you know what? I think that's better than I can do left-handed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how well I can do any artwork left-handed. Very cool. Thank you so much. I love it. Um, bank statement. You don't want to know about that. Let's see. I got this envelope. I think this might be more diary stickers that I ordered. 
I'm trying to get it scissors out from underneath the camera. Oops. Because, you know, why would I plan that well or anything? Let's see if I can slit this open without damaging whatever is inside. I bet you it's planner because I ordered some more of those Hita stickers. I like the Hita stickers. I'm liking them in my planner. I am going to try to do some kind of doodle little doodle video for you guys who are doing the food journaling and give you guys some suggestions on different do little doodles you can do. But I'm really liking the stickers and using my stickers in there. Yep, it's more Hita stickers. So I have mentioned before I really like using these in my planner. And um, no, no stores buy me carry them locally. So I've used up almost all of the other ones I have. Oops. Okay. Save this one for last. Okay, so then I ordered a while, quite a while ago... Um, some new Daniel Torrenti design stamps that he came out with this year. And Stampotique, um, who, care, who is the manufacturer of his stamps, um, they're handmade when you order them. So it, once you order them, it takes like six weeks to get the stamps. Um, and I finally got my order in. It came today. Three stamps. So you want to see? I, lo I love his designs. It's full of, like, shredded paper. Hang on. <laughs> it's getting everywhere. You know, I literally spent all day yesterday cutting stencils for people. Like, until 10 o'clock at night. And I just got all the little bits of plastic cleaned up out of my studio room. So we, I really don't want to have the little bits of paper all over the floor. I have to vacuum again. I've vacuumed so many times the last two days. Okay. So it looks like yeah okay so I got um, this one which is just some circle designs of his is that not the coolest thing and it's on a cube I, I love that and it's on it yeah I love that so Great idea. And then I got, this one is called, hold on, Roger, his name is Roger. And then this is Penelope. So cool. Okay, so I got those, they came today. And then this one, let's see, I should say that paperwork. This is a special envelope that I had an uh, inkling was coming. It is from Linda Lapotka. And if I'm not mistaking it, it's a pocket letter. So shall we open it? Okay. And she's covered the outside with um, um, homemade tape from um, oh, it feels like napkins. Let's see if I can get it off of here. I'll be able to use that for collage now. Cool. She's like me. She's reused an envelope. I love that. <laughs> Envelopes are expensive. All right. Oh, so cool. It's so nicely wrapped. Now, one thing that I have started doing with my pocket letters, and I don't remember where I saw it. I don't think it was from Linda, but I think it was from somebody else. When I get a pocket letter, I cut out their address from the envelope, which I'm going to do right now while I'm telling you all. 
and I put it in one of the little pockets of the pocket letter and that way I know who that pocket letter is from and I in this case I'm I'm going to probably try to send her one back so I have her address when I do that now she's wrapped it look at don't I mean don't you just love this color I love that color it's slightly darker than my office but I love it and it's wrapped in pattern tissue you know us mixed media artists we cannot have enough pattern tissue of course the seamstress in me is going oh my god you took a pattern apart <laughs> but you know I'll get over it <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, so cool. And this is a big piece of pattern tissue, too. Nice, big, huge piece. And then it's wrapped in more ribbon. Oop, something just, a paper clip fell off. It's wrapped in more ribbon. Okay, I don't know where. I'm gonna figure out where the, a black paper clip just went flying. So I love that. Look at that ribbon. It's very fabulous, fabulous. Alright. So I don't know where this came from. Just put it on her address for right now. So here is the pocket letter. So there's the top three pockets. And then I love it. And each one's going to have something different in it. Oh, this one has a paper clip in it. Maybe that's where the other paper clip came from. Oh yeah, it is. So this top pocket is where the other paper clip came from. And it has some cool black paper clips. And then look at this heart-shaped one. Very cool. And a piece of scrapbooking paper. And a die cut. I love that. It's one of her fairies. Love it. And I love the front card too is a napkin collage with a clock on it. I love it. And these pocket letters are really, they're not, they're kind of a cross between ATC card, a pen pal letter, and sort of a large embellishment swap because everything in the pocket letter you can use in your mixed media, which is fabulous. Um, here's the front card in the next pocket. And then this one has washi tape. And oh, little owl. So cute. And there is a little charm with a bird. And this one I think has the letter in it. Yeah, it does. I'll read it later. And then another piece of scrapbooking paper. So cool. I love these. So I really want to do pocket letter swap on Crazy Island Family, and I was thinking about doing it as an embellishment swap, um, but I think pocket letters are the kind of thing that you either love or you hate, <laughs> and I don't think that everybody who's in the embellishment swap is going to want to do a pocket letter swap. You guys all let me know what you think. Um, we do have permission from the creator to do it one time, and... Um, I do have a bunch of rules set aside. Maybe we can do it as a separate swap. You guys let me know what you think. This one has these two embossed butterflies in it. And then look at the card. And this is this is a thick card. It's done on chipboard. I love that. I'll get her address in here before I lose it. Alright. It's good to pause in our pursuit of happiness and just be happy. Ain't that the truth? Some more collage. And some buttons. And what's this? Ooh, cupcake! It's the kind of cupcake I should be eating, a fake one. <laughs> not, not the real thing. Gotta stay away from them. Very cool. I like that when you're doing these pocket letters, you know, it's a great reason to use up some more of those things we've all been hoarding, the stickers, and um, this one has some flat back pearls. I love that. It's a proper ATC card she signed the back. There's some 
papers um, and stencil uh, die cuts in here. I could use that as a stencil though, that would be cool. Here's one cut out of a playing card. Oh, I was going to say it, but I'm not sure what it is because from this side you can't really tell. But from here you can, it's a bird. And then an arrow. I love this one, an arrow. Oh, cool. I love these ATC sized stencil. And there's another piece of scrapbooking paper. I already promised one of these to somebody, so I have to make a, some of these this week. Okay, let's see. Another piece of paper. And... Oh, cool. It's, it's really cool. And then this, what is this? Oh! Stamps. I opened it and they fell out. I think they're German. Or a German type language because it says Carton Brief. And I know that's not how you pronounce that. But I'll show you. My mother-in-law would correct me. <laughs> but, you know, I have trouble with English on a good day. All right, and then... If you all haven't seen my website, and you don't know that I have one, I do. www.ginabarons.com I just updated it recently and added some new things to it and um, actually remembered to post to my blog, <laughs> which I forget a lot. Here's two more little fabric-y things. Cool. I love the wings. And look at this card. And, of course, another piece of the same scrapbooking paper, which I'm loving. And we're almost done. Oops. Some wood words. Dream and happy. And look at the... Paper clip. I love that paper clip. Love it, love it. And here is the card, the eight, the front cover card. Isn't that cute? Love it, love it. Um, so I mentioned my website because I did update my blog, and I put in my blog that um, I wasn't going to put up any more with people just being mean on my YouTube channel or otherwise, and. Um, I can't get the last pocket out. Constructive criticism, of course, is fine. I can accept that, just like everybody else. But don't be mean just to be mean. And these people who keep giving thumbs down, suddenly I'm getting a lot of thumbs down on videos. Um, you know, if you don't have the balls, pardon my French, to say what is wrong that you don't like about the video... You know, private message me if you want. If you don't feel like putting a comment, if you're worried about the comment getting it deleted, private message me. Um, you can do that on YouTube. You can do that on Facebook. You can email me. My email address is in every video. Um, but just giving it a thumbs down without speaking up and saying what's wrong, um, that's kind of not okay with that. Anyway, so that's pretty, isn't it? And then what is this? Airheads, or it's an orange candy. Cool, I like orange. And then paper tape measure, oh, so cool. This would be cool to collage with. And another piece of paper. Thank you so much, Linda. I love this so much. I'm gonna read your letter later. And I am storing these in a binder. Now I got this from Kim. What is the name of her website? I mean her channel. Her YouTube channel is um, Kimbo Creations, I think. I think. She puts them in a binder. Not only the ones she's getting, but the ones she's making. And um, because these are on baseball card sheets. So it makes sense to store them in a binder. My only problem I'm going to have with any of these is... I don't want to take them apart. 
<laughs> I want to leave them. <laughs> so I don't know how long that's going to last. But for right now, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it in my binder and we're going to just leave it in here. I'll do that later. Um, but yeah, um, I think her channel is Kimbo Creations. Hang on, let me check for you all. Um... typing Kimbo Creations both spelled with a K K-I-M-B-O and then Creations spelled with a K um, she is doing pocket letters and she stored them in a binder and um, I really liked that idea and I have, have my pocket letter um, you know, they're not really instructions, it's suggestions on how the creator originally intended you it to be created. And um, some different little things that I'm just saving to either use in future pocket letters or that I've gotten with my pocket letters. I have my blank pages that I can fill up and then my ones I've gotten in, in the back. And um, that's working really well for me. And that was Kim's idea, that wasn't my idea. So go over to her channel and give her some love. Linda too, uh, Louisa Viviers, if she's got a channel, I'm not actually sure if she does or not, you know, it's one of those days, <laughs> I don't know, I have a lot of those days, uh, let's see, Louisa. she does have a channel, so um, go show them all some love. Um, Louisa's last name is spelled, make sure I got the right one, the right spelling. Yeah. Louisa's last name is V-E-V-E-R-S. And, yeah. And she's doing the hundred, um, she's following the hundred day project like I am. Packer Dye has been doing it. Don't you just love her? Um, and she does, um, some art videos and, you know, kind of a bunch of random things, a little like I do. Aren't we all like that? Random. My brain is random. It doesn't know how else to be, but random. <laughs> I think that's it right now. That's a lot of stuff, kind of. There's a lot going on this week, as per usual. I can't wait for the husband to start going back to driving. I gotta pick him up in Freelot again tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, uh, pick him up at work, take him to therapy, hope we're not going to get stuck in traffic and we're not going to be late because, yeah, that's already happened like twice. Ugh. All right. I think that's it right now. I have to work on some JKIS lessons this week. I've got to work on pocket letters this week and along with other stuff. So i got to get cracking. i got to try to get stuff filmed when nobody's in the house because it's just easier on you guys and on me. All right, I think that's it right now. I'm going to try to decide what I'm going to do with my new brush collection. I've been saving up and buying these brushes like one or two at a time. They're too pretty to use, though. I don't know, but I do like these pointy filberts. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but that's a cool brush, and I can't wait to try it. So, anyway, I think that's it right now. All right, check out my website. There's a bunch of new stuff on there, including an art supply and studio resources portal. My husband helped me with the name, so if you guys aren't cool with the name and you have a better idea, let me know. <laughs> um, it's not a horrible name, but it still sounds off. Um, anyway, there is a listing of local uh, to me places that I personally go to or have gone to or that I go to, or friends of mine go to, or I want to go to, and they're local that I can drive to them, um, or semi-local where it would be a little bit of a long drive, but I could get there. There's also online places. Now, some of the online places are going to be in the local, because in the San Francisco Bay Area, we do have Dick Blick and Utrecht. Um, so look in the local, because that's where it's going to be. But the links for all their websites are on there. 
um, and the places that I shop at online for my art supplies, and I do more of that than I do going to stores. I can't handle the crowds. I can't handle the anxiety of driving. And anymore, with the allergies I have now, I just end up coughing. And ha God forbid they should have potpourri or something in the store, because then I'm just, I have to leave. <laughs> I just can't handle it. Michael's is a problem for me, because I have... Half the store makes me cough and wheeze. Um, right now they have all the spring potpourri, the scented candles, all that junk. And at Christmas time, it's the cinnamon pine cones. It's a problem. It's becoming more of a problem. And I should say that. I don't know if it's more of a problem or if I'm having less patience dealing with it. Might be the less patience. Anyway, I have less patience dealing with it everywhere, not just Michael's. Ugh. Anyway. Perfume and perfume. I love perfume. I have a lot of perfume, but I can't open it and I can't wear it because it makes me wheeze. All right. I think that's it now. That's enough ranting by, on, by me. You guys don't want to see any more of that, do you? All right. That's it for right now. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. Put your Fitbit in. I keep forgetting. Ugh, it's not good. Uh, do your jur food journaling if you're following that. Get healthy. Let's not have our artistic butts, mine in particular, get any wider than it is or already is. Eat your vegetables. They're good for you. All right. I'll see you all later. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.